And yes, indeed, it says we are live, and that must mean it's Thursday night. I'm here. You're beautiful. That means it's time, baby, for God Goes Live. Of course, I'm going to get some things set up here. We have a lot to actually talk about tonight. We have some reactions to the Pulse Fan Fest. We have reactions to the chat with the Transformers team that happened today across many sites. We have some other bits of news and notes. We have trivia, and we have a pretty interesting unboxing to do tonight. I'm still toying with things like lighting. I'm still toying with the location of the camera because I'm used to it being over here a little bit. So my vision in my head tends to go over that way. So you're going to have to bear with me a little bit. But we got a lot to cover. This is going to be this is going to be an interesting night. Of course, I'm your host, your most humble host, Dennis Moulton, aka Gotbot. As always, man, please like, comment, share. Of course, subscribe and while you're at it, baby. <laughs> Hit that notification bell. It helps me out a ton. It lets you know when content of all sorts goes up here on the channel. Check out Machinery of Man, the Everything Factor, all the groups that I'm either a mod or an admin for. All those links in the description. Check me out all across social media, baby. All those links are also in the description. And if you're in a position to help the channel to grow, you know what to do. Use the donate link. Check us out on Patreon. See what we offer to you through Teespring. Several lines available. Or, of course, hit the join button right here on YouTube to become a channel member. I'm working on a couple of things for channel members and patrons up and coming. Uh, one of them, in particular, is a fan request. Another is a little package of goodies that I'm getting together there. So, so some interesting things happening there as well. Let me just, let me just get settled away. I do see people in here. Um... Chicken fried steak here right away. Look at that, buddy. My night is made, baby. My night is made. Let's uh, let's go up here. Let's go up here and just get this. Oh, I think we're good. I think I think uh, no, I'm not quite good there yet. Hold on, hold on. This is the worst part, you know, having to get all like set up and stuff. What a nuisance. What a nuisance that is. Uh, hey, Waluigi, BS Prime, happy to see you. Jay, always glad when you're here, buddy. Uh, hey, ya boy. Sam, always happy when you come in, sir. Hey, Barry. Uh, chicken fried steak, I already said hello to, of course, Blue Raccoon. And our trivia tonight is going to be courtesy of Blue Raccoon, actually. Uh, hey, Ninja Bill, happy you're here, buddy. Let's see as we go down here. Uh, hey, Sound Blaster. Happy to see you here. Um, appreciate it, Barry. Much obliged. Got to do that. Uh, uh, Jay and uh, I would like to see... What? Oh, mainframe. Uh, with Dot, Bob, and Enzo. Oh, interesting. Okay. I mean, I'm not against it or anything. Just interesting. Um, I do have... What's it going on? I got to bring that down. There we go. Um, hey, Alex. Happy to see you here. Hey, Rod Stewart. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, if only it was the real Rod Stewart. I love his music, by the way. Yeah, I know it's a reboot reference. I just don't know why the reboot reference was here. Not that I have a problem with it. I love reboot. I thought it was a great show. Okay, so we have a lot of news and whatnot to cover here tonight. We're going to do trivia. We have an unboxing of a few things. And I'm going to tell you now, the unboxing is going to start from pretty, pretty awful to uh, like exponentially better as we go. Trust me, you'll see what I mean as we go through. So let's, we're going to kick off with the news because we have a lot to cover here, but I think it's going to be interesting um, to do, I guess, all of the news, really, honestly, tonight. I think it's an interesting night for news. So first things first, um, where can I start here? Um, uh, where do I want to start? 
Oh, I want to give an update, actually. I done an odds and ends video yesterday, and there was a thing that I came with a power pack from 1984 that I thought was a command tron, and there was like a little side swipe, like put together thing, and I was like, I thought that they came from our friend Maximal 10. They didn't actually. Both of those items came from our other friend, Dragonfly. So uh, they came when the baby Dinobots and that drift came, which I still haven't had a chance to look at yet. Um, so just a little correction there to yesterday's video because I attributed those items to Maximal 10. They should have been attributed to Dragonfly. So I just want to throw that out there. I also didn't mention last week that we saw more recent pictures of the Kingdom Galvatron. And honestly, I thought that they were the best round of pictures we've seen yet. He looked the most in proportion and the colors looked the best. Even the battle damage did not look overdone. I'm so torn with that Galvatron because some of the pictures we've seen, like his proportion seem way up and other ones, they look spot on perfect. Either way, his alt mode is spectacular. I feel like I'm going to have to see him in hand. Is he going to be better than the unique toys, lad? I don't know. Uh, we'll see. But I'm the more I see, the higher my hopes are getting formed that he's going to be worth it. So we'll see about that. But I didn't mention it last week. We also have news of an ex-Transbots prosecutor. They put out their, I think it was Dr. Egg. It's their Quintesson judge. Um, and some people like it. Some people don't. Some people don't like the like auto-rotate mechanism and the voice clips. I guess that's up to you, man, what it is you dig. Uh, I think the prosecutor looks good. I assume this, the scale will be good to go with their Quintesson judge. I think it'd be a little bit too big for a mainline display, maybe, arguably, but to each their own. And I think that x Transbots is being pretty brave with doing something like this. And I think that they did a good job with Dr. Egg. It's just I don't know if the mechanisms and whatnot were necessarily needed. Uh, to each their own, though. Uh, what else do we have here? DNA. They put out a set for the Studio Series Wreckers. Roadbuster gets a new blaster, fillers, cannons. Uh, and a buzzsaw, which is kind of cool. Top spin gets new feet that apparently makes him a little bit taller. Uh, and like an automated, not an automated, um, I don't know what you call it, an adjustable, I guess, claw. Um, and... Okay, like this... I don't even know what you call it. This piece that rests um, and it straightens... The roof cannons. I, I don't. I didn't even understand the description on that. I don't know what that means, and I don't know the mold. But uh, if you want straight roof cannons, DNA got you covered, I guess. Uh, lead foot comes with a steel jaw that comes with a chain, which I think is really cool. Uh, some fillers and some extra blasters, which I think are all pretty neat. It's a lot of news out of the way there. Uh, what else do we have? Deep covers out in Canada. As a matter of fact, both deep covers are out in Canada because just before we went on, I saw that Danny, um, Danny Dolphin, picked up the Netflix Wave 3 from Walmart here in Canada. They're not here yet that I know of, but I am in for deep cover in two of those DCS drones. Um, thanks to Jay Halla, I already have the Cheetor. There's no guarantee that Wave 3 is going to make it here. There really isn't. Wave 1 did not. Wave 2, sparse. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens with Wave 3. But the other uh, version of Deep Cover is also out. My pre-order has not come in. Will it? I don't know. Guess we'll see. 86 Slag was shown. Looks gorgeous. Look, the Grimlock is spectacular, man. And as a matter of fact, I did manage to get the chest piece off of mine, which I wanted to do. Uh, I think the slag looks stupendous as well. Starscream, wife saw him. She thought the dino mode looked great. I think she was a little less impressed with the robot mode. Were you less impressed with slag's robot mode? Uh, yeah. Why? Was I don't remember. <laughs> I only looked at the picture once. I see. I'm not. I I think he looks extremely accurate to what he looks like on the cartoon, and that's what I want. I feel like he's going to be made to the standard Grimlock was. And if that's the case, man, he's going to be spectacular. Really spectacular. The Daniel, that's another throwaway. Just like the uh, Wheelie is a throwaway. I mean, it is what it is. Um, what else do we have here? XM Studios showed their Rodimus Prime statue. 
they say it's inspired from like the film. I feel like it's really stylized, but it looks beautiful. Obviously, it's a piece of art rather than like something that you manipulate a whole lot. It looks spectacular. It's just I see it and I'm like, hmm, interesting. Yeah, it's obviously hot rod, but it's a really stylized hot rod. And I do find myself thinking, this is probably what Hot Rod would look like if he was, like, actually real, if he was a real thing. So, like, it's cool, but either you're in for those statues or you're not. You know, I mean, it is what it is. Uh, one of the pieces of news today that I'm happiest about, as soon as I saw it, I immediately sent it to Starscream Wife because that's her jam. The newest Hallmark Keepsake Ornament is going to be Shockwave. I already have the holiday stop motion plan for it, man. For those of you who don't know, Starscream Wife, every year, myself and the Scraplet, she gets us a Hallmark Keepsake Ornament. Our tree is very quickly uh, becoming and has become like the story of us. Absolutely the story of us, 100%. It is a family tradition, so it's not like I go out and buy them. She does it. It's her thing um, for all of us. Naturally, mine are the Transformers. Uh, ornaments and i have optimus and megatron and grimlock and starscream and soundwave and bumblebee i don't know that's six is that all of them i can't remember. i have all of them let's put it that way um jazz sorry i forgot about jazz jazz um so like it only makes sense to have um shockwave and i think it looks beautiful obviously he looks extremely g1 robot-esque as they all do i think it's great i really really do can't wait. Uh, can't wait to have him. Really can't. Shockwave's not going to be able to wait to have him either. He's going to be so happy. Um, yeah, he's going to be happy. Trust me, he's going to be happy. Um, that brings us down to the main two bits of news. Man, that slag is beautiful. Really beautiful. And we know we're getting sludge. We know we're getting swoop because they've already been named. And I now have new hope that we're going to get snarl. Not because of a listing or anything, but because of something that was said today which we'll get to but i'm going to check in with you guys first because i see the stuff coming up there and i know that i've been passing by because i wanted to get through some of the um some of the stuff here so i'm gonna go up here um and uh bear with me because i know i've been missing some stuff here uh let's see Let's see as we go down here. Mainframe does transform into a computer. Yeah. Um, I'm okay with getting mainframe. Give me a rad. Give me an action master rad, man. That's what I want. Yeah, reboot was great. What a what a storied history reboot has. If you haven't ever watched it, go and watch the history of reboot from Toy Galaxy. They cover it so well, right up to like the most recent iteration. There's a long history there. That's actually really interesting. Uh, hey, Input, happy to see you here, buddy. Um, yeah, Dragonfly is a good guy. There's an upgrade kit for 86 Blur. There is an upgrade kit for 86 Blur. Oh, look at Ninja Bill being a Super Chat super fan. I appreciate that, Ninja Bill. You are beyond a gent. For the record, there's something very interesting coming from Ninja Bill. I'm going to talk about that more. When the time comes, um, there is an upgrade kit for Blur, uh, and like it, I, I, it's cool. I think if you don't have a Target Master for him, you should definitely get it. I don't care about the rifle. I don't ever remember Blur with a rifle, but to each their own. Um, that being said, I took a Siege Battle Master and I made it into Haywire some time ago, so I have that. I don't need the upgrade kit for it. But if you do, then I really, I do highly recommend it. Um, hey, Robert, what do you think about Transformers Kingdom Titan class Autobot arc? Okay, we're going to talk about that in a few minutes. I have some kind of interesting views on that, actually. And I think that it is very specific to where you live. We'll talk about that in a little bit, Robert. But I'm, I'm a little more interesting than I thought I was going to think with it. Uh, I'm content with Mania King. Honestly, Alex, I can see the argument of being content with Mania King. Absolutely. I'm on the fence with the Kingdom Magnus. 
Kingdom Magnus not for me. I think he's cool. I know Jay likes him a lot, if I'm not mistaken. Jay can confirm that, but I'm pretty sure Jay can, likes him a lot. I do think the upgrade kit that elongates his thighs and gives him some other bells and whistles, fills in some of the hollowness, is definitely worth it for him. It's not the Magnus for me. I've said it a million times now. The CW Magnus with the X2 Toys upgrade and the PC-17 is my Magnus. And I'm happy with it. But if you're in for or on the fence with the Earthrise Magnus, um, I, I think if you're going to get it, resolve yourself to get the upgrade kit with it. That's what I would say. I'm pretty sure that all the business with Kingdom Galvatron's proportions are from the leaked images, which are liable to have been messed with, which is absolutely possible. It's funny you mention about the images being messed with, Sam, because there was some discussion uh, amongst some of us and it was Larkin who actually originally pointed it out that it looked like there was some manipulation and some like photoshopping going on. And I don't think he was wrong. So that's why I'm saying like, I need to kind of reserve judgment a little bit. Uh, hey, Triple R, happy you're here, my friend, as always. Got to get the Generations Blur and the Upgrade Kit. Um, like to get the Generations Blur there. You know what? That would work too. If you had the Generations Blur and that Upgrade Kit, that would work too, Blue, Blue Raccoon. Uh, am I going to skip Black Zarek? I I don't know yet. I'm I'm not rushing for him. Let me put it to you that way. I'm not rushing for him. I I I, I wish that it, I wish he was a commander class. Honestly, I would like a commander class version. So I'm not sure. That being said, I think the Scorponok mold is stupendous. I really think it was super duper well done. Really super duper well done with great materials. I mean, I reviewed the guy. You guys know that I, I thought it was spectacular. Um, if anyone likes SS86 Blur, it's fine. I, I like SS Blur. I, it's, I, I don't have an issue with them. I did shave off, like, the way some of the tabs are, like, some of them hook, and then, like, some of them hook another way. So, like, I just shaved off so that they just tab in, and I like it better that way. I ordered Super Megatron, but haven't heard uh, head nor tail of it for months, so I might get Galvatron instead. I've always kind of uh, preferred him to me. I love Super Megatron. He was my top pick for 2020. I adore that Super Megatron. It's a shame you haven't got him yet, but, man, he is so good. So good. But, I mean, Galvatron, you're right. The whole mad with power thing. Uh, those gimmicks with uh, that would be fun to show off a few times. After that, it's like all figure gimmicks. We move on. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right, Ninja Bill. Um, what's people's thoughts on Rodimus right now? I still think it's probably not worth the price. My fear is, and we all know, I mean, I have a shirt out that says not a Voyager. We all know what I think of that hot rod. I think the Rodimus is going to be really well done. I think the molding and the sculpting is going to be like mind blowing on it. I think he's going to have the bells and whistles. I think that it's going to be pulling out all the stops to try and make a traditional leader class shoehorn into commander class. I feel like Rodimus should have come out as a leader class. Granted, a couple of things may have had to have been sacrifice like the pistons uh in the trailer maybe but i feel like that the commander now probably should have been star saber that's how i'm feeling but we'll see we'll see because I, I do think he looks good um and honestly i detest the power of the primes so this this just has to be better than that honestly now i do have him on pre-order uh matrix workshop boys on email um Galvatron was a more entertaining villain than Megatron. He was more entertaining than Megatron, but I think Megatron was probably more menacing, or they tried to make him more menacing. Um, I still love Super Megatron. Grab him off the shelf a lot. Oh, yeah, me too. I love Super Megatron. I could fiddle with him all day. Crimzeek transformed Galvi's arm to make his shoulder more proper. I wouldn't know. Um, Web World's a personal favorite episode. Yeah, Web World is a good one. Um, slag needs paint. Where? Input. That's what I like. Where does slag need paint? Because I ain't seen it, buddy. I'm really not. But I'm interested to know where you think he needs paint. I bet you I know one thing you're going to say. And I'm going to disagree with you. But you go ahead and say it. 
Um, I don't think 86 Swoop will be that huge. Um, I think he's going to be a slender leader, honestly, and I think it fits him. Some have said Voyager. I'd be down with that, but he needs to be a big Voyager then, you know? Hey, Wisterius Prime. Pre-order Slag already? I didn't even know you could pre-order him anywhere. Didn't even know he was up. I'm looking forward to Slag. Yeah. Let's see. Hey, Grimlock Gun, Crumple Zone. Happy to see you here. Um. Hmm. Mm. To go down. Daniel is the next kid human factor in Transformers since he his dad grew up over yeah. I don't need Daniel. I don't need any more Daniel in my life, man. XM Studios Rodimus looks like it was in the style of the Bumblebee movie. I agree, Sam. It looks like it was in the style of the Bumblebee movie. Yes. Very good. I agree. Absolutely. So we go down here. Um, torn muscle in your right arm. Dude, I'm telling you guys, Grimlock on is bionic. He has to be bionic because the things that he has told me that has happened to him in his life he has to be like a mutant or a superhuman or he, maybe he's an X-Man. Grimlock, Grimlock, are you an X-Man? I, 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 like, I believe it. I be, like your skeleton has to be adamantium. It has to be. Picked up retro highbrow and weird wolf. Prefer them to the, I don't believe we're ever going to see those retros here. We don't, we haven't seen any of the like reissue stuff in a long time. I don't believe they're going to come here. So, I mean, if you prefer them, cool. I, I don't. They're good mold, so cool. I'm not picking them up again, even if they come here, because I have the originals and I don't. I don't see a need to double dip on them. Um, but you know what? I'm not going to pretend that they're not excellent molds. They are. Can't wait for that shockwave. Oh, me too. Input. I'm hoping as I get down here, you got that question answered about that paint. Uh, Rhinox was a letdown, mostly good, but the head sculpt is garbage. Uh, we're going to talk about that in a little bit. Uh, and. The what? Great. Okay. Didn't even notice it. I'm assuming he means behind the head. Maybe, maybe, but I didn't notice it, any gray that stood out. Interesting. I'm not going to say it's not there, but, you know, maybe I'll look at it and I'll be like, oh, now I can't unsee it. Um, famo kind of thing I've done with CW Magnus, putting his missile pods on his legs to act as thrusters. You can do that. can't hold i i never i never had any major problems with him holding the blasters he came with i know a lot of people did but I, I i never had a major problem with that that being said i haven't done it in a long time because now i have that upgrade kit so mm, i don't know he seems he seems like a perfect slag to me but may, I, maybe i like that slag has a red head yeah i want him to have a red head black is toy and red is, again, going to a shirt that I have. Cartoon is king. Um, when does it ship? I don't know what you're talking about. The gray plastic stands out. Interesting. For those unaware, the unaware Zaron was the guy Impactor and Springer reported to in the Marvel books. Yes, he was. Amorat Zaron. But the... Great would be, and that's what got bot likes input. Yes, that's right. It got to be, that's right. It got to be too accurate. A Marvel Legends circuit breaker. I'm, I, I honestly input, I'm kind of surprised that Marvel Legends hasn't already done a circuit breaker. Probably as an exclusive somewhere. Um, I definitely missed a lot. Hey, Larkin. Uh, I'm loving this Bumblebee Starscream. The Bumblebee Starscream, I think, is really interesting. I, I'm not planning on getting the Starscream because I don't need it. But 
I think the thrust, I feel like I could do something with that to finally get a version of um, the Liege Maximo. I feel like that's what I'm feeling from that mold. It's definitely an interesting mold. There's no doubt about it. Thank you very much, Larkin. I greatly appreciate it. I always appreciate it when people are a super chat super fan. Absolutely appreciate it. It's funny, Larkin, that you're coming in here now. I don't know if you were here before or not, but um, honestly, uh, a little while ago, I, I mentioned you and how you had really been the impetus to point out about some of the Galvatron uh, images that seemed like they were probably doctored. And I totally, totally 100% agree with you on that. 100%. Uh, as we, ooh, that really went up. I've been looking for a Transformers animated Bumblebee uh, Turbo Boosters for my Thrilling 30B as an animated reference. Ooh, that'd be nice. I don't imagine that's going to be easy to find, though. I could be around Blue Raccoon, but I feel like that'd be a challenge to find. Um, I was generally, uh, genuinely surprised by Bumblebee Starscream. I think he's really cool. I think the alt mode is weird, but like everything I've seen about him looks like it's really cool. I think the robot is definitely his strongest mode. But everything there seems cool. He seems to have a good range of motion. Um, he seems to be clever. That's what I'm going to say. He seems to be done clever. Uh, some Canadians might drink tea, Larkin. But honestly, buddy, I drink coffee. Uh, I like mine black. Two cream, two sugar, buddy. Um, it's not black if it's got two cream and sugar in it. I'm tired. It's been a long day. She's right, though. I like it with two cream too. Actually, you know what? Sometimes I do like a black, but it's a double, double. yeah, here we call it, here we call it a double double. That's that's what it is in Canada, right? One penny more than Larkin. That makes me better. It does. <laughs> you know what? The funniest part is in Canada, we no longer even have pennies. They don't exist here anymore. Everything either goes rounded down five cents or rounded up five cents because it got to a point where it cost more to produce the penny than what the penny was valued at. So they just stopped making pennies. We don't have them anymore. Uh, but yeah, honestly, I love that. Uh, Kato, yeah, it does. It, it. You know what? I love both of you guys. There you go. I love. I love you both equally. Just came out, finished lunch. I hope it was a good lunch, man. Kato is definitely better. Ah, oh, that's so good. So we go down here. She did used to work at Tim Hortons. Uh, I took sugar out of my coffee the last few months. Uh, finally used to it. Hey, Sawyer. Should we go down here. Oh, hey, Tia Fangi. Uh, hey, Anthony. It costs you to say two cents to make a penny here. Right. Penny is mightier. Penny is mightier. We need a shirt that says penny is mightier. Uh, they tried stop motion, uh, stop making pennies a few years ago, and people got, really? Why? Just round up or down. Sometimes it's to your advantage. Sometimes it's not. Um. Looks great, honestly, better than the TR version. I can believe that, honestly, uh, Ninja Bill. I like Weird Wolf. I like Weird Wolf, too. Actually, I've heard that the new Weird Wolf has that whole neck issue fixed. And I heard that the later releases of the Titans Return one had the neck issue fixed. Maybe I got one of the later releases. Maybe, because we've talked about it before, and I've always said, like, the neck on my uh, Weird Wolf is fine. I heard that that was a running change that got fixed. Maybe I got one of the later ones. Maybe they were later coming here, you know? I don't know. I really don't know. What? <laughs> no, it's not where I hide my giant GoBot collection. I wish that was full of GoBots. I love GoBots. That'd be great. Emmett love it. Emmett love it. Um, no, that's far more boring than that. It's just full of clothes. Uh... I got mad because people here can't use their brains. <laughs> hey, Joseph. It is the same, sadly. Um, it's unfortunate, but it is the same. 
<laughs> That's not what your mother said, Trebek. Uh, two werewolves because of the neck issue. Yeah, a lot of people did, Crueler. Uh, okay, so let's let's deal with the two big pieces of news. Um, and it's funny because in a couple of weeks, myself and H&E Games and I think Crimson and I want to say Lazy Eyebrow, we got something coming up that we're going to be talking about this, but I'm going to give some ideas right now about what I think about some of this. Haven't seen him in a minute. Uh, did watch his latest. Uh, his latest was Leader One. Listen, man, Leader One is gray. That's all I'm going to say. And Psykill is not green and black. Psykill is like red and blue with some chrome. Just just saying, just throwing it out there. I think I'll pick up Black Zarek for my birthday. Why? I, I, I can't argue against it, Alex. Like, it's very well done. I, I mean, I, I might yet. We'll see. I, he's tremendously well done. There's no doubt. Okay, so let's talk about the Pulse Fan Fest, uh, the Transformers stuff that came up there. I actually watched it. For once, I was home and actually watched the thing. I had two, two Canadian nickels. Two nickels, one dime, and a Canadian penny. Listen, man, I still got two Canadian pennies over by the old computer. Uh, you know, penny penny saved is penny earned. So the Fan Fest, I expected last week when we were here, I talked about a whole bunch of things. I gave a whole bunch of listings. I even talked about a few exclusive listings that are mysterious. And I said, maybe they'll be cleared up tomorrow. They weren't. They're still as mysterious as ever. If you don't know the listings I'm talking about, go toward the end of last week's show and you'll be able to see what those listings were. I have yet to see them anywhere else, mentioned anywhere else, but they came to my attention. And these aren't rumors. These are actual listings. Some of them don't even make sense. But what did I think of what came out of the Fan Fest? Well, we're going to talk about that now. First things first, the Ark is going to be the Titan. It is now confirmed. It looks like the last, uh, the last Autobot, which in some continuities is a member of the 13, which is cool. It does have some battle damage. There's a, a spring-loaded ramp, which is cool. It, the golden discs. I do like the nod of mainframe. I don't think he looks like Teletran 1. I have a Teletran 1 that was provided to me uh, by uh, Dragonfly. But as somebody else pointed out, it doesn't need to be Teletran 1. It can just be another computer. Um, I'm cool with that. Somebody else pointed out and said, you could just transform mainframe. He was an action master. He don't really need the alt mode. I'm cool with that, too. Apparently, he's going to stand about 19 inches or so, so a, a slightly taller than uh, Devastator, about an inch or so taller than Devastator. He's not going to be one of the bigger Titans, and he turns into a ship. I'm not sure how interactive the ship is. Here's the thing, though. I think that his price in the U.S., if I'm not mistaken, is 149 though it might be 159 Either it's the same that a Titan's always been, or it's gone down a little bit. I think he's worth the American price. No doubt. And he looks beautiful. Bunch of blast effect stuff. Yeah, I dig it. Unfortunately, in Canada, the price of him as a Titan is going from 229 up to 249 99 I don't understand why it went. seems to have gone down in the U.S. and up in Canada. That makes no sense to me. Some places do have him for pre-order on sale for two twenty-nine, but even that is far and few between, and not everywhere has done that. It looks like the going price for him is going to be two forty-nine. I, I think he's worth it for the U.S. price. I do not think he's worth it for the Canadian price. Am I going to get it? Well, I had zero intention on getting him. However, I may have a uh, certain uh, bit of help there. Uh, where he would be more of the American price and shipped. And if that's the case, then yeah, okay, cool. Because I do think he's absolutely worth that. He's not worth the Canadian price. That's the problem. The pricing is too high in Canada, but I think he's worth the U.S. price. So that's kind of my, my take on him. That being said, I do think that they're trying to shoehorn in characters now into Titan because you know, the last Autobot, I mean, he was in the comics. A lot of people don't know him. It's very niche, but you're putting it out in the main line. I know the arc has been in everything. I feel like most people are going to just display him in ship mode. It's interesting, but I, I, I feel like Titan class is running out of steam. I feel like Titan class is running out of steam. Uh, what else do we have? Rodimus, we saw more images of. I already talked about that. I think he's going to be the go-to best Rodimus we've gotten. I feel like I'm going to say he's too expensive. I hope not. I really hope not because I am offended by that hot rod, as we all know. I know a lot of people aren't. I am. But 
I'm hoping that the Rodimus can be somewhat of a redemption there. I really, really, really hope for that. We will see. Scorponok looks spectacular. Look, I did a massive custom on my Ultra Scorponok. You can go back and see the review of that. The original Beast War Scorponok. Um, he's really good, man. Really good. The new one is going to be a deluxe, which is probably the right size for him. Uh, I think that the texturing and whatnot looks really good on it. I think the molded detail looks amazing. I think he's going to be a tremendous Scorponok. Uh, wing finger. Love it. Love it. I love these fossilizers. I think they're so weird, quirky, and cool. Now, apparently, he combines with the other two, which is weird. The other two are Predacons, and he is a Maximal. Why would you combine? I don't know. But... I think some of the combinations that we've seen with a number of Paleotrexes is better than what this three-bot combination is. I haven't seen a lot of combinations yet with Ractonite, and I don't think Ractonite is quite as good as Paleotrex, but I feel like Wingfinger is going to be a blast, a, a bit of fun, and a complete weirdo. That being said, a couple of people have pointed out to me that the reason that they are avoiding it is because they have young family members who are scared of the fossilizers because of their bony nature. Very interesting. Uh, I don't know if anybody ever thought of that. What else do we have? We have a Blast Effects set coming out with a repaint of Rack tonight as, what is his name? Uh, Tricranius. Uh, and he's supposed to be like a lava, I don't know, radioactive lava lad or something. Again, this is one of those like uh, things like the Centurion pack. I didn't get the Centurion pack. Now, thanks to uh, Dragonfly, I do have a lot of a resin cast of that. And honestly, while I think the blast effects are cool, honestly, Grimlock Gone has really been a huge help to me with blast effects. I'm good with blast effects. I don't feel a need to get it. I think it's all right, but if you don't like the fossilizers, um, you know, you might get it for the blast effects, but give the fossilizer a chance. Honestly, I like Rack tonight. If I could get it, I would, but I'm not going out of my way to get it. And not living in the U.S., uh, I, the what you'd have to pay in shipping is insane, if it would even ship to your area. Uh, tracks we saw. I think tracks looks cool. I, I'm definitely going to get him. He's definitely going to update my old classic generations tracks. This one is taller, more slender, more sleek. I dig it. I do feel like the part behind his head is probably a little too high. I don't know if it can be lowered or if that's just the way it is. I, it's not a deal breaker by any stretch of the imagination. I think the face sculpt and everything from the neck down is perfect. I just wish that that part behind his head set just slightly lower. Uh, being able to do the flying car mode, that's excellent too. So in for Rhinox. I like my Thrilling 30 Rhinox. I don't know how I feel about this one. I do like the metallic green and the golds. I'm not sure how I feel about, I almost feel like the mouth on the front of the chest is too flat. Um, some people said earlier that they thought the head sculpt was trash. on. I don't know. Ah. <sighs> I don't know. I'm going to have to see how well he functions. I like my Thrilling 30. Some people ask, is your Thrilling 30 safe? I don't know yet. I really don't know yet. But I'm not blindly sold on Rhinox. If you don't have the Thrilling 30, then get Rhinox. You know, get right. Support Beast Wars. Uh, Dracodon, it's going to be a green radioactive version of Vertebrake. I adore Vertebrake. I think Vertebrake is a diamond in the rough. I think Vertebrae is one of the best fossilizers. I'm in for Dracogon. 100% in. Uh, Core Soundwave looks cool. I'm not in for the little lads. I'm sure he'll be stupendously well done. It's nice that he has a little laser beak set. I think that that's neat. It's just not for me. Shattered Glass Blur. Man, why are you making these exclusive to Pulse? You're excluding so many fans that would like to have this. Now, luckily, I do have the blur sourced. And hopefully, that same person is going to be able to help me with the other ones as time comes. But I shouldn't, as a fan, I shouldn't have to do that. I shouldn't have to source it through someone else. You should just make it available to fans everywhere. It's offensive that you're making it exclusive like that. And some people, people came back to me and said... They ship to Canada. They ship to certain locations in Canada, and they only use FedEx. And the pricing that I've seen when I have priced certain things is it more than doubles the price of the guy. Like, the shipping is insane. Just use Canada Post. I don't understand what the problem is here. Like, use the cheapest shipping, or at least give the option to do that. And they don't. I don't understand what their logic is. I really don't. I love the Shattered Glass. 
I'd like to have it. I'd, I've said before, I don't need a huge, you know, collection of it, but four, five, six on each side, like just a solid team on each side. Interesting. I'm down for it. I just wish that you were making it more readily available for fans. Um, and then we have that Optimus robot that's 700 US dollars. The thing is cool. I mean, the thing is an actual robot. I mean, it talks back to you, it can transform on its own, fully articulated. He can do battle, he can slash it. Like, things amazing, but so it should be for the price tag. Uh, it, it's not, again, I don't need an actual Optimus, but it does show what is capable. And we've seen this Optimus for a long time. I find it interesting that they're only announcing it now. The things existed for a long time. I guess the fine detailing stuff had to be done. Maybe they were waiting on the official licensing and whatnot. I don't know. I think it's cool. I think it's cool that it exists. It's not for me, but I think it's cool that it exists. And that is kind of my take on it. So my takeaway is that the Stuff that was revealed there is neat. Not a lot of it was new. And the one thing that I really super wanted, which was the blur, you made it impossible unless I was able to source it through someone else, which luckily I could. But I shouldn't have had to do that. Um, I find that disappointing. I find that disappointing. You're 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 making it too hard. Uh, now we're going to get into, I'm going to go back and check the chat, but we're going to get into the reaction from the post-fan fest chat that was done a number of sites took part t formers and uh tfw and all spark and a couple of others and i have some summary notes and whatnot so we're going to talk about that in just a moment what i think about some of what came out of there most of it's interesting one of it really enrages me and i'll explain why as we get down there um and uh which unicron is that in the background that back there in the background uh m is the uh oh one studio cell who's in the background i got him when he was still zeta core star so i got him for significantly cheaper than what he sold for as i got him for 300 canadian shift there you go which a lot of people are like mind blown about and so am i now knowing what what he ended up costing i can't i can't believe i got him for that uh let's go up here i know you guys were talking a lot there was a lot to be said there because there was a lot to, like here's the thing there's a lot that came out of that that was cool honestly there's a lot that came out of the fan fest that was cool and i think the slag is cool it's just i feel like the way you're rolling it out and like the execution of distribution is not cool the products are cool the extribution the execution of distribution not so cool that's what i'm going to say there um how far off do i have to go here Let's go up here just a little bit. Oh man, I missed him. I must have missed missed a lot. Um, like I keep going back and I keep seeing M uh, with some stuff there, and I, I'm like, how far back, man, do I have to go? Uh, yeah, lazy eyebrow, ugly wretch. There you go, TF collector. Uh, me. Uh, Anthony and Bacon. Oh, from T Formers is also going to be there. There you go. Thank you very much, H and E Games. Tyrant Spear looks spectacular. It is definitely better than Fast Track or Black Rory Ricci. I agree, Alex. Um, that will be a fun watch. That'll be a good one. I think that's the thirtieth, if I'm not mistaken. I think that's the end of the month. You knew this. You're asking when it was. You knew this. I told you a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, but I forgot. Well, that sounds about right. Hey, Adam. I just bought the Transformers first movie, Megatron, from 2000. Nice. Actually, I really like that Megatron. A lot of people give it flack, but I think that's a good Megatron. I like the studio series, World War II, uh, Bumblebee figure. That's fair, too. Um... What? You need Titan Smuggler. <laughs> I, did, I, I need a Titan Smuggler, yeah. Um, let's see, as we go down here. I, I It's not a Titan Smuggler. It's just... It's somebody who realized that what I'd said about the, the price in the U.S. being more reasonable than here and, and reached out and was kind enough to help me. By the way, 
Um, a big shout out to my patrons and my channel members because, and I meant to do this last week, the new computer. Honestly, a portion of this came from the support of you folks. Honestly, I said a long time ago that, uh, you know, that support goes right back into the channel and it does go right back into the channel. And this is an example of it. Um, I'm hoping Scorponac gets repainted into Double Punch. I feel like that might be a Selects release, Alex, because it's very niche, but it could. I just need a Titan Grandis. I could see Grandis fitting in Titan for sure. Uh, Metro Titan, I guess. Like I don't, I don't really know any of the story to Metro Titan, so I don't, I kind of don't care. But like, I get it. I totally get it, Larkin. Like both of those would would fit in Titan class. I, I, I get it. Tidal Wave should be the nemesis. Eh. Eh. Don't give him ideas. Uh, I'm, excited. I'm excited for the arc. Want more Titans, but the thing is, like, Titans take up a lot of space and a lot of real estate, too, right? I mean, it gets to a point where, like, you're going to run out of room for the things. I want Titan class Rejecticon. I want a Titan class Kato. Titan class Kato. That's what we need. Um, I think Rodimus and Galvatron PRs are sold out everywhere. I'm a Titan Class Rejecticon. Larkin might be a Titan Class Rejecticon. Should we go down here? And guys, I know I'm going over some stuff here, but we still have to cover one thing and then we got to do the unboxing. So I'm trying I'm trying to kind of get done and out of here, right? Uh, Wingfinger looks... Way too small to be a deluxe. And Wingfinger might be too small to be a deluxe. We shall see what happens with that. Uh, I'm going to print some hands for Rack Tonight. Rack Tonight needs them. And honestly, it's easy. Print some hands. Make sure that they got a, uh, that they can go on a 5 millimeter peg. And boom, Rack Tonight has hands. Good idea, honestly, Larkin. Excellent idea. Uh, Tricranius is a Triceratops, unlike Rack Tonight. Rack Tonight's not a side. Not a not a triceratops. I thought Rachtonite was a triceratops. What do I know? I don't. I'm not up on my dinosaurs. What do you want? Tidal wave ship mode would be more cartoon accurate. Uh, looking Titan tripped. Uh, maybe more accurate than Titan Tripticons. Maybe. All my fossils are in Dino mode. Interesting, Jay. Wing finger licking good. Yummy. Uh, so what are you saying, Dennis, is you want more blast effects? Um, I, like, blast effects are great for stop motion. They help. They, they make life easier in stop motion. Practical effects always make life easier. I think if you're holding up for loud pedal, let me put it to this way, Alex. If you're holding up for loud pedal, do it. But I wouldn't hold my breath for it, is all I'm going to say. Um... Yeah, I'm digging the tracks, too. I just feel like the part behind his head is up high. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe when I see it in the hand, I'll say, nah, man, it's fine. It's cool. Trax is my cup of tea. Uh, I like the classics line for the most part better, but this version of Trax, that's fair. That's fair stop motion. A lot of people love Trax. If we go down here. Throwing 30 for alt mode, kingdom for bot mode. I'm assuming that you're talking about Rhinox, and I'd see the argument, Kato. He does have some big shoes to fill, Larkin. I agree. I think Rhinox looks better, except the head for me is a massive downgrade. A lot of people have said that. I didn't. I'm going to have to go back and look at the head because I didn't size it up that much. Binge watch Armada recently. You have my condolences. Uh, I, I feel bad for you. I've done that too. It's hard. Um, I like Rhinox Thrilling 30. Has bad legs. Some people have pointed out the hips on that Rhinox, and that is. That is a consideration. Pure waspinator. What? I didn't even. I don't. I didn't even know that was up. But whatever. Um. But if he's just the third, I don't think he's going to be the thirties version. And honestly, it'd be hard to beat the thirties version waspinator. He's so good. Predacon Rhinox would be cool, Alex. Predacon Rhinox would be very cool, Alex. I believe Blur will be available everywhere. The Pulse exclusive is just an exclusive version. I hope so, Kato. I really hope so. I hope that they do that as 
maybe a two wave short line, two wave subline or something. That's it. You don't need to do everything in, you know, shattered glass. Just give some Cardinal characters enough to have two solid teams. I think the SG figures will be other places. I, I, I hope you're right. I don't believe it, but I hope you're right. I hope you guys are right. I really, fingers crossed, man. I really hope you're right. Uh, would I like an update? Not really. I don't really know Armada Blur. I don't know. I, I'm not. I'm going to tell you now. When when the, the whole time is Unicron Trilogy, I won't get any of it. I'm not into it. I don't like the characters. I don't know the characters. None of it sticks with me. None of it speaks to me. I have no connection to any of it. Zero. Except for, except for Demolisher. I'll get a Demolisher because I do love Demolisher. Um, and if they do a better, no, because he would have been R.I.D. 2001. Demolisher. That's it. That's all that I'd be interested in. Uh, maybe a tidal wave. Better tidal wave. Demolisher tidal wave. There you go. Yeah, tired of things that shouldn't be exclusives being exclusives. Yeah. Um, the script sounds like a Pulse exclusive variant cover for the... Maybe. You could be right, Larkin. Like, I, I thought that about the description, too, but I didn't want to take the chance until I, I know something better. Yeah, Canada always gets shafted with distribution. Story of our life, man, especially Eastern Canada. Um... The shatter glass blur face sculpt is so much better. It is. It's so menacing. Nefta may need a uh, retweet. Yeah, I used to be able to ship to Mexico and Canada for a lot less money. Yeah, honestly, because we used to have some nice free trade. Somebody decided they were going to end all that. Not pointing any fingers, but we all know who it is. Apparently, it was made by a third party. They're being acquired by Hasbro. I don't know. We'll see. The Pulse exclusive blur is just a variant comic cover. Um, hey, Tommy. Um, Titan. I don't want a Titan tidal wave. Stop it, input. No. I want a commander tidal wave. That makes sense to him. Um, what? My favorite Disney movie and show. Uh, I don't, I don't have, I'm, I don't have either. I, Starscream Wife would be better to ask for that. What's your favorite Disney movie and show? Because uh, I don't have one. There's too many. There's a lot, yeah. I don't know. Honestly, Robert, that's a hard question. I don't have one. Um, Dark Designs was a fun episode. Dark Designs was a fun episode, actually. I like Dark Designs. Um, hey, Kason. Ractonite is a Styracosaurus. Don't I, no one's going to tell me different because I'm not going to remember that word. I've never heard of that in my life. Larkin is an exclusive paradise, though. <laughs> oh, that's so good. That's so good. Uh, as we go down here. Hey, Super Robot Ed. So I guess you are... What? So I guess we are at the end of the... Well, for Cybertron Trilogy, I really don't want Unicron Trilogy again as it... I don't think we're going to have Unicron Trilogy next. I think the next thing is going to be Beast Wars for a while. Probably Beast Machines. And then you'll go to Unicron Trilogy. I, I think it's just going to go through that way. Um, okay, favorite Transformers TV show? Prime or Beast Wars? I'm a G1 guy, but I think the storytelling in Prime and Beast Wars is brilliant. Hey, Ryan. Oh, I love Air Razor. Guys, if you didn't see it, oh, Air Razor, so good. Oh. So good. I love Air Razor. She is tremendous. Okay, so... Of course, we're getting late here. We still got the unboxing to do, and we got to go through the chat. So we're going to do the chat right now. Hey, Dragonfly, glad you're here, buddy. We're going to go. What about trivia? We still got to go through the tr chat, then trivia. So let's go through the chat that was with the TF team today, and this is just some notes that kind of came up from it that I've I've kind of gleaned together from some different locations, we'll say. So. This is, I'm going to start off with the one that made me angry. This made me angry and makes me question an awful lot about competency and about the information that these companies use. 
They were specifically asked a question that came from Cybertron.ca about the Conehead two-packs that are Amazon exclusive because nobody in Canada got them. They have not come. I've gotten seven delay notifications. You know what Hasbro's response was? They were unaware that there that there was any issue with the Coneheads. They may look into a second run or a re, uh, was it? re-release in the future it took five years to get the clones i've had it on pre-order for, uh, since july it's ridiculous that their numbers did not show that an entire country got zero supply it is ridiculous that amazon didn't reach out and say where's our supply i think both amazon and hasbro failed miserably the fans of an entire country at this point the onus is on hasbro to make it right we'll see if they do it i gotta be honest with you I'm not confident in them doing it. If they do, I'll be the first one to give credit. I used to be a big defender of them. Then the last night came, and everything since then has been bad decision after bad decision. We got zero, zero stock of an exclusive for a retailer. You know what? If you weren't going to give them any stock, then you shouldn't have put up the pre-orders. You shouldn't have given us pre-orders. You should have said, hey, you got to source it through somewhere else. So either people would source it somewhere else or... They would have just said, forget it, not doing it. The fact that you announced a product, you announced it was an exclusive to Amazon, and then you never offered the product to an entire country, and you're saying you didn't even know about it? That's a disgrace. You should be embarrassed to say that. I think that that is unforgivable. I tweeted Hasbro about it and asked, where's our, where's our seekers? Guess what? Haven't gotten anything back yet. Only done it earlier. We'll see if they reply. I certainly hope they do and explain this glaring oversight to an entire nation of fans. I think that's disgusting. Uh, are we going to get some transmetals and fusors? Maybe. Um, I'm not so much into the trans... Well, I'm into some of the transmetals. Definitely in for the fusors. A new quick strike and a new silver bolt. Yes, baby. I'd be in for that 100%. Uh, the goal is to keep the aesthetics and scale that they have because they've just introduced Beast Wars. They'd be kind of shooting themselves in the foot if they change that now. I agree with all of that. Um, they look at micro collections. Somebody asked about like the other 19 season one and two characters or whatever. Here's the way I look at it. Micro collections don't mean like micro masters. Micro collections mean you look at a particular like group. Like, okay, so right now the focus was on combiners or the focus was on micromasters. Let's get that kind of group, that chunk of your collection out of the way. It was on mini bots or it's on this or that. You know what I mean? So like, I, I'm, I'm cool with that. I, I think that's a smart way of doing it. Um, patience hopefully will pay off with getting some of that. Some of those I don't need. Like some, be, some people said like, well, what about the rest of the mini bots? I'm cool with the legends. I don't need all the mini bots redone, man. I mean, some of them needed to be redone. Huffer needed to be redone. Um, I, like, I don't think Beachcomber needs to be redone. Just saying, but to each their own. Uh, what else do we have? Micro collections. The 86 line was a test to see if it would fly with Studio Series. It did. We can probably expect more to come in the future. Of course, we know we're getting slag. I also have said many times that I think that that Studio Series Hot Rod was a litmus test to see what people would accept. Uh, at the Voyager price point, I'm disappointed that people are accepting that as a Voyager. If that's the future of Voyager, my days are going to be quickly numbered because I don't support that as a Voyager, as you all know. Uh, the arc we know is pretty cool. Um, is it going to be the last Titan? Maybe. I feel like the answer that was given, and I think Larkin sort of explained it the best, honestly. Uh, like they kind of said, no, with a question mark. Um, like, I think that they are just leaving the door ajar to say, well, if it makes sense to do a Titan in the future and the support is there, then we will. But we don't really have an immediate plan for it because we all know that the talk has been two commanders going forward. Um, there's going to be more reissues in the retro packaging, just like the Headmasters, for example. I think that that's cool. Um, how do exclusives work? Basically, there's a back and forth conversation between Hasbro and different retailers. Sometimes the retailers have specific requests for exclusives. They say Walmart is a great partner. That tells me all I need to know about their business practices because is Walmart great at anything? I'm just saying three words, people of Walmart. Just throwing it out there. I would give up all four of our Walmarts for one target. Um, I'm not a fan of them. It's just, we don't have a choice. 
That's the sad part in Canada. We don't have, they pretty much have a monopoly. Uh, red, apparently the red line's done well. Who knew? Uh, there's more plans. They couldn't talk about it. They're not concerned about an overlap with Super 7. Neither am I. A lot of people have been saying, why do we have these two robot lines? They're completely different. Super 7 is like kind of super G1 uh, aesthetic, highly limited articulation still. Then we have the red, which is very cartoon aesthetics uh, for the various cartoons and a focus on apparently high articulation. I think that's worked okay with certain ones. I'm surprised it's been considered a success, to be honest with you. Um, but then again, this is the same company that didn't know an entire country didn't get any of the seekers. So, you know, go figure, right? Let's see. Um, they said that they would finish teams. So like if they do the Insecticons, they'll do all the Insecticons. If they do the Dinobots, they'll do all the Dinobots, which gives me hope for Snarl in the 86 line. They also talked about why certain things make it in Kingdom, certain things make it in 86, but that wasn't a lot said there. The question was asked about the Armada Optimus Prime from Takara Tomy. Uh, basically, they said no comment, more to come. I guess we'll see what happens. Uh, and it was asked if in the Shattered Glass line, will we see molds that are not currently in use? And they said, uh, basically, yes. Um, yeah, why not? And question was asked about the Netflix show in details. They couldn't comment on that. So it was interesting to hear and see some of it. I'm so disappointed in their answer to the Coneheads. That's been a disaster that thousands of fans have missed out on. Thousands, not hundreds, thousands have missed out on. An entire country of fans missed out on it. I can't speak for anywhere else in the world, but I know we did here. I think that's a travesty. I don't know if you underestimated it. I don't know if you lost it. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. And I, in this case, I put the blame on both Hasbro as the producer and distributor and on Amazon as the retailer. Why aren't you going back to the producer distributor and saying, where's our stock? We have all these pre-orders. Where's our stock? Like there's a serious breakdown of communication there that makes me question the competency and credibility of both companies. Because that is, I've never ever in my life seen anything like it. I've never seen any company operate to that level of incompetence that they didn't even know that they didn't have their product in an entire country. I don't understand how that happens. Somebody should be fired over. It, just going to say. Uh, let me go up because I know you guys were talking. I think it was a great, I think it was a great chat. Honestly, I just don't like that. And then we're going to do trivia. Let's go up here. Um, I love that bird mode on air Razor as well. I think they're going to stick with the beast for that's the plan. Trivia answers definitely C. Kato always says C. I skip the trivia uh, studio series RID 2001. Um like again Alex, I don't think we're there. I don't think the nostalgia is there. Like 2001 those fans aren't old enough yet to have that disposable income. They're just not. They're going to be like young college students and stuff at this point. They're not there yet. I 10 years in 10 years maybe they'll be there. I really want to see Hasbro go in. On, and don't get me wrong, there's certain fans my age even of R.I.D. 2001. I like R.I.D. But I'm not going to spend my majority of money on it because it's not my nostalgia niche for me. I might pick up one or two here or there. You want to hit that target collector nostalgia market? You wait until they're the ones at that prime age with that prime buying power. Then that's when you see it. I really want to see Hasbro go in a more imaginative direction. Um, I, yeah, I like seeing different things. That's why I like the fossilizers. If you're going to watch Armada, try. no, I'm definitely not going to watch Armada again. I detest that show. It's so painful to watch. So painful to watch. I want a Devastation Conehead 3-pack. I just want to get my two Coneheads. That's it. That's all I want. I just, I just, Hasbro knew. Hasbro definitely knew. Definitely new. And like, I like that. Hasbro new, they're trying to save face. And you think that saving face is presenting yourself as incompetent. Because that's what that came across immediately. We didn't know there was a problem. You're an idiot. Um, don't say that. Don't don't say that. Do you have any idea how bad it's making you look? Um, and it's same for Amazon. Don't get me wrong. Like Amazon should have known better. They should have inquired. Like it's ridiculous. I still have an order sitting with Earthrise, Ratchet, and Lifeline. Like, again, you shouldn't. 
go back, say we need more ratchet and lifeline. Boom. It's not it's not rocket science. The problem is they're relying too much on nostalgia while being hesitant to dip their toes in new territory. We need another game changer like animated. Probably Alex. You might not be wrong there, honestly. And I think that they try that. But it, nothing sticks. Our ID 2015 didn't stick. Cyberverse, it's cool, but it didn't stick. You got to find something that's going to stick. I think Hasbro's ruled by the quintessence. That would make sense. That's horrible about the cone hits. It is. Uh, Silver Bolt, Bolt, Quick Strike, yeah. Rampage. I'd be in for a Rampage, too. Absolutely. I don't know if he needs to be Commander class, though. I don't, I don't think he needs to be Leader class. GoBots is Masters. I agree. GoBots would be great. Um, Big Dog is Spider Lady. Yeah. <laughs> I got my arc ordered. I want a Voyager Polar Claw. Yeah, Voyager Polar Car Claw would be good too. Um, I would have loved to get an Ironhide uh, in this area. See, that's another one. Like the Ironhide and Prowl is another one that they should have more of. I would like more. Go and like honestly, Ironhide and Prowl never should have been a an exclusive to begin with. G1, what Blitzwing in the future? They should re-release G1 Blitzwing in the future. Maybe, but they re-released him in some weird colors along with Astro Train a few years ago. Uh, as we go down here, it's a great idea. Uh, my target is excellent when it comes to stock. Deluxe Insecticons need updates. If you say so, I'm fine with my Legends. I don't need Deluxe Insecticons. My target gets everything, including Titans. See? Okay, he was one of the tallest in the show. Okay, he's still a commander. No, he's not the size. Like, think about scale. Rampage is big. No, Rampage is not the size of Skylinks and um, Skyfire. And I would say Tidal Wave. No, he's a Star Saber. No, he's not that big. Like, you got to think about this stuff in context, guys. And that's what they're doing. Based on the answers they gave, they said the scale is it thinking about it in context. So you got to think about it in context. Cyberverse was cool. I liked it. I got better as it went on. Okay, trivia. Boom. Let's do trivia. Let's do the unboxing. Let's get out of here, man. This is a long show, but we had a ton to cover. Trivia. Trivia. You playing trivia? Yeah, coach. All right, trivia. Um, who? Is Tigatron's main Predacon rival? Is it A, the Ant Inferno? Is it B, the Scorpion Scorponok? Is it C, the Pteranodon, Pterodactyl, Pterosaur? Or is it D, Megatron himself? Who's Tigatron's main enemy? Inferno, A, Scorponok, B, uh, Pterosaur, C, or Megatron himself, D. Who's his main rival? A, A, D, A, A. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, crap. Oh, I'm getting a crap in my leg. A, A. A lot of people are saying A. A lot of people are saying A, A, B. Who are you saying? I'm going to go with the audience and A. You're, you're saying A? It is, in fact, Inferno. A. Uh, in the episode, Lay of, uh, what is it? Uh, where is it? Where is it? What's the name of the episode? Um, Law of the Jungle. In the episode Law of the Jungle, sadly, Tigatron is engaged in battle with the uh, Predacons. He fires his blaster at Inferno and misses him and basically hits this Predacon weapons cache that explodes. And his friend, a big snowcat, uh, affectionately named... What's the name of the snowcat's name? Um, is it snowcat? Maybe it's snowcat. Um, Snowstalker. Snowstalker. There you go. Snowstalker gets caught in a landslide. Of course, Tigatron runs over to the big cat to try and save it, but it's too late. And, of course, Snowstalker gets buried. And that's when Tigatron says, like, I'm not going to fight anymore. Um, and uh, really kind of blames himself and, you know, in a roundabout way, blames Inferno. So that's the trivia. Okay, so now we got the unboxing, baby. 
unboxing time. Some of this, we're going to start from the worst, and we're going to work our way up. And the very worst thing that I got is broken. <laughs> it's broken. And it's this ugly little, I, it's supposed to be a car. This is not, this, the arm is broke, and like it's broken, like it's sheared off, it's broken off. Yes, this is a nothing. This was just thrown in with something that came from Sir Toys. Um, so, <laughs> this, it's trash. It, it kind of looks like, it looks like garbage. It's for, the, for the record, there's, there's his arm, right? It just didn't even transform him once, just shared right off. But also in that package was this lad. And this lad, you might know who he is. Let me give you another hint in case you don't. He turns into a neat little cassette boy. He is definitely oversized and big, but he is neat, no doubt about it. Um, very G1-ish, uh, ish, sorry. Uh, Tigertron and Inferno also had rivals. Tigertron destroyed Inferno's colony. He did, yes. It looks like Gumby. Um, it's Sir Toy trying to top me. Slugfest has arrived. Slugfest has arrived, but that's not the only thing that was in that box. Also in that box was this. Yes, this is indeed a blue... Uh, Combiner Wars version of um, Blast Off, I guess, or, uh, you know, uh, Slingshot, I suppose. I got him for a specific reason. You probably know where I'm going with this. So we're just going to lay him down for now. Then I also got another box. This was also from, from Sir Toys. And in this box, hold on. Hold on, because I gotta get a, I gotta get a few things out here. Hold on. In this box, <laughs> so you know that green thing that I just showed you that broke. In this box, though I haven't changed this one yet, I have an orange, similar orange version. It feels pretty bad. I assume it too will break when I try to transform it, but. It does come with, like, a pretty cool blaster and, like, some, like, I could give this blaster to someone, you know? Like, it's pretty neat. And the other one, the green one that broke, it also came with, I don't know what this is for. That goes in there. The green one also came with, like, a cool, I want to show you this. It came with. Like this really cool looking sword. Like that's neat. I dig that, man. I don't know who I would give it to, but like that is, that's cool. I, I like that. In this box, however, we had a spare version of Swindle. Now, if you remember last week, I had a little head for Jaguar. This is going to become another version of Jaguar. We may end up having a way to combine a couple of body pieces. Triple R might know a little something about that, or at least he's the guy I'm counting on to keep me informed of it. And also in that one, we had an arm lad. This is, uh, think of it as like a more red version of Fireflight. So again, you probably know where this is going. As a matter of fact, I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a preview of kind of where this is going. They do need some work. There's no doubt about it. And see if I can see if I can do this. And let's see if I can do this. I'm just I'm just trying this here now. Let's see. Let's see how this goes. Oh yeah. This is how my Nexus Prime is coming along. You may notice there's not a tank over here. There isn't a red tank lad. This is the motorcycle lad. I do still have the other two. But the motorcycle lad works here because he has two blasters that are probably going to make silver. That stick off kind of like the tank uh, turrets do. 
So I think once I get the work done, this may be my Nexus Prime. Plus, this guy, in comparison to the car and the uh, like Van Jeep uh, guy, this one is the most solid uh, arm. So I think my Nexus Prime is getting pretty close to being done. Then, then we have, there was another, there was another terrible, hmm, I thought I had another, oh, I can't find him now, I had another, like, terrible, oh, he's over there, uh, hey, Starscream Wife, what? would you be able to hand me that ugly thing there? You'll see it, it's, it's really ugly, right it's, there? yeah, yeah, this is the last of the trash, I promise, this, this also came. The, look how horrific that head is. Anybody recognize this? Anybody care to make a guess as to what this is a KO of? Supposed to be Optimus. It is not supposed to be Optimus. What the heck is that thing? This is a KO of Onslaught. Actually. It is a KO of the Warbatron Ferris Attack Onslaught. I call him Gentle Slap. Uh, this is, this is like the plastic actually feels really, really good, but the design is utter trash. The design is, is so bad, but the plastic feels really like this plastic is not going to break. It's actually really robust plastic. I mean, go figure. Go figure. The next thing, because we're not done yet. We're getting there, though. The next thing is this set. This is the Batropolis set, man. That input hooked me up with. The Batropolis set, of course, with our boys. Our boys here. You may know them as Over Ear and... Um, uh, uh, Ironworks, but since I already have Ironworks, and since I have Airwave and the little MicroMaster as over air to go with him, I am opting to call these guys, uh, I think it's Barrage and Heave. If you don't know who they are, they are the other members of the Astro Squad that we didn't actually get. So I'm going to use Barrage and Heave as the names here. I'm also going to keep both shuttles because it's really interesting, the homage that one of the shuttles is. Of course, we know that one of them is Blastmaster and I think it's Blastmaster and Fuser or Phaser, if you will. But there were a diff there was a different deco that came with the set that's actually based on Universe Micromaster Stormjet. So I'm going to call one Storm and the other Jet. That's my plan. I, I love how these look and go together with Skylinks as well. We're going to see all of that coming up the week. I'm going to check in with you guys before we look at the very last thing. Because this has gone long, man. I just want to see what you guys were saying. Because we got to get out of here. Uh, Nexus Prime gets an upgrade. No Nexus Maximus. Well, here's the thing. To get the actual Nexus Prime or Nexus Maximus, if you will... Like, he costs, like, $450. Like, I'm not doing that. So, Fireflight, yeah. Um, the last thing here. Did I go down? Did I go down? The last thing here. Super excited about it. This is the review, actually, tomorrow. We're doing the review for this guy tomorrow. That's what's going to head us into Friday, baby. And it is none other than, finally... Beast Wars Kingdom Megatron. Yes. Um, this was such a while. Here's the funny thing. This wasn't my pre-order. My pre-order never came in. I pre-ordered this guy from an EB Games in November. That EB Games location shut down. It got moved to another location and delayed and delayed and delayed and delayed and delayed. And then this ended up at Toys R Us. So I picked him up from Toys R Us. And my pre-order still has not come in. First or last, the EB Games. Sad. Uh, but really happy to have this guy. And I was shocked about a number of things here. Tomorrow when we look at him, we're going to compare him to my custom original Beast Wars. We're going to see him with all of his Predacon team. We're going to see him with... Optimus Primal, as well as the Power of the Primes Optimal Optimus, 
And I'm going to talk about if he is a true blue leader or not. Spoiler, he definitely, definitely is. If you get the opportunity, do not pass him off. That's going to be a fun one tomorrow. And ladies and gentlemen, after a very long show and a lot of news to cover, an understanding wife, a great pup and dog, and a beautiful, beautiful people here, that being you guys, it's time for us to head out of here. This is the Friday Eve. I want you to enjoy the rest of it. I appreciate you coming by. Give me some of your extremely valuable time. I do know how important it is to you. If you're in a position to help the channel to grow, you can use the donate link. Check us out on Patreon. See what we offer to you through Teespring. Or, of course, you can hit the join button right here on YouTube. Become a channel member. Don't forget that somehow, some way, man, each and every single day you do make a difference. And I look forward, baby, to the next time that you and I get together to have another visit, either in the live streams, which is right here right now, at the stop motion premieres or the old-fashioned way, baby. That's right inside the videos.